Okay, so this is our pressure washer, and we just uh, put a new pump on because the old one uh, kicked the bucket. And uh, here is the old one, which I took apart. I was kind of curious how this thing worked. It's kind of interesting. Um, so this is your, uh, I guess you'd call it your um, pumping block. Uh, it contains all the check valves. And let's uh, look inside here. Uh, these are pistons, and there's a plate in, in here uh, that the engine drives on this side. And these pistons go up and down. And they go up and down in these bores here, these three bores. Um, so the way this works is you've got your water inlet coming in here, and it feeds these three uh, inlet ports, okay? And that that water is coming in to, to these, which are, these are actually check valves. So water comes in, I took one of them out right here. Water comes in, and Jake, can you hold the light up here? Up above, kind of angle it like this. So, so the water comes in and goes down. You can see a port right there, and it enters the the chamber uh, that the piston runs up and down in. And there's there's a piece that goes in here. Looks like a like a seal right here. So that piston fits in here. Okay. So anyway, the water comes in. Uh, enters the chamber. The piston, as it, it's going down to compress, causes the check valve that's in here, these, for that particular piston to close so the water can't go back out the um, water inlet and it forces it out through this port, which you can kind of see right there, up into these check, this check valve. And there's three of these. So all three pistons, these three big bores, uh, their outlet ports come up into this manifold. So each one has a check valve. So, so the piston moves in, compresses the water, it closes the inlet check valve, and comes opens the outlet check valve, comes into this manifold, which then uh, feeds this port right here on the, the pump body and then on out to your hose and your wand. And then of course when the, the piston's coming back out and it's letting water uh, in, these check valves are spring loaded so that um, it closes off the port, the port so you don't lose pressure in the manifold. And then uh, there's a, a valve that goes in here. This is the what I believe is called the unloader. And what this does is when there's a there's a spring and a and a, a valve in here. And when the when the pressure in in this assembly here um, is at a certain point, well, okay, when when you're when you're not pulling your wand and the pressure builds up, this valve actually will it's up against a spring, it opens, and what it appears to do is there's a port right here, you can't really see it, uh, that, that it exposes. So it allows water to come from your high pressure port into this side, which it looks like it bleeds out back into the inlet, and then it just circulates, essentially. So, uh, and, then, and then when you pull your trigger on your wand, then, um, the, the spring pressure causes that, that valve to close, then all your pressure goes on out to your uh, wand. Um, so, I'm pretty confident that's how that works. I found that kind of interesting because I've used this thing for a number of years and you know I've seen uh, these parts and I kind of wondered um, uh, how it all worked. And uh, now I've got a pretty good idea. So, uh, these were the seals that uh, go into that brass block assembly for the pistons. Um, here you can see the there's one of the check valves and I think that's the seat I believe I took it out it goes like that and then the, there's a spring and this piece here 
uh, goes over that, and then this goes down into um, this port here. Well, actually, I take that back. This this one was the one that goes in uh, this port here, and then uh, this cap just uh, fits on there. It's just a cap, but you can see I haven't taken the the uh, assemblies out of these. Um, I just took one out of this port, and that's uh, what this is. So there's your seat. Your seat. There's the um, the check valve, and then there's a spring. Sorry, I'm looking at my camera and trying to watch my finger. And then this is the cage that goes over the spring, and then that goes down that port. And then in these uh, these inlet check valves here are similar. So um, this seal here, if I can find it, is that it? Yeah, I think that one went down inside. Oh, here it is. Yeah, it's, it's right here. So that's this piece. So let's see. I believe this went down inside. Um, oh, actually, okay. On on these, uh, the spring was down in there, and then the check valve. I believe. Oh, you can't see. Check valve goes like that. And then there's your seat, and it goes down in there like that. So I, I guess these, I believe, were actually in like that. Um, if I remember right, I'd have to pull one, one of the other ones out to look at it. So anyway, bottom line, you've got three check valves, at least on this particular pump, uh, on your inlet. Uh, that allows water to go into the uh, piston chambers. And as the pistons uh, compress the water, these valves will close off the water inlet. And these check valves open, letting water into the outlet manifold. And then they feed uh, this port here in the pump block, which then feeds your high pressure port. Anyway, so hope that helps. Those of you that are interested in how this works. And uh, maybe we'll make another video sometime.